In 2020, Zoe and Joel Masters signed up to build their dream home. As we get further and further in, it is just disastrous. Hit with delay after delay, they're now raising small children, paying a mortgage and rent, which is about to go up another 20%. We have to secure accommodation for our family um, in the meantime, so, yeah, we're stuck. Earlier in 2020, amidst the COVID disruption to construction, Mark McGowan stood in a BGC site to announce a subsidy for new home builders. It's never been a better time to go and build a new house, and this gives you the opportunity to do so. That same month, BGC broke a record in WA, selling 1,000 new home contracts. Statewide, there's now 30,000 homes under construction. At the time you were considering those grants, though, did anyone say, well, this could overheat the market down the track? No. The problem was that the market was dead. So that's why we put the grants in place. If we hadn't done that, we wouldn't have enough being built now. The Masters waited almost a year for just a concrete pad and then silence. After months of nothing, Zoe and Joel hired their own bricklayer and these walls were up within a week. But that was in August and nothing has happened since. The only movement has been the delivery of roofing timber in November. Like cracks and stuff running through the tops of the timber. But the family were told they won't get a roof carpenter until May. But what's the condition of this going to be then? They've welcomed BGC pausing sales, but say they won't get their hopes up. <laughs> a WA law firm is considering a class action and says hundreds of BGC customers have expressed interest. James Carmody, ABC News.